So rewilding is all about restoring natural processes. And one of the questions we're thinking about at the moment is to what extent can we do rewilding or to what extent is rewilding happening in our urban areas, in our cities? Of course there's a bit of a constraint on rewilding in cities or at least what we call the abiotic component of rewilding. That's the getting the landforms moving again. In cities of course we've got lots of buildings, bridges, houses and so forth and you can't restore dynamics in there. What we're tending to be doing there is doing green roofs, green walls, um, all of that sort of thing. And is that rewilding? Probably at the moment we're thinking that's not rewilding. This is about greening grey infrastructure. But other areas of rewilding, maybe what we call the biotic rewilding, which is restoring the assemblages of animals in cities, I think that can happen. And I think, indeed, I think it is happening. In, uh, in my area of East Oxford, uh, in the neighbourhood I live, there's been a spontaneous rewilding going on for, I think, about 15 years. We've got uh, muntjac deer, roe deer, we've got foxes, um, we've got badgers. Interestingly, badgers are sort of f fulfilling the functional role of, uh, of wild boar. They're sort of turning over our gardens and what have you. And we've also got cats in there. So we've also got quite the assemblage of species already reassembling uh, in East Oxford. It's not functioning in a totally natural way, of course. The, the cats are uh, um, living in homes, so they're putting a big top-down pressure and there's not quite so many uh, you know, mice and frogs and, and birds around. But there is a, a rewilding, uh, a move up the wilding scale starting to happen there. And then, of course, there's sites like this. I'm at Swillington Ings, just outside Leeds. Sites on, on urban peripheries, which have huge scope for rewilding. This may be the dimension of rewilding we call the social ecological rewilding, where you can imagine rewilding a site like this. It could become an Ngorogoro crater by the air, a fantastic new tourism resource and employment resource for the people living in and around uh, Leeds and, and West Yorkshire. So urban rewilding, I think it's happening. Uh, I'm not sure we quite know what it is at the moment, but there's certainly lots of things to think about.